Welcome back to the Bucks bonus pregame show. We're counting down to kickoff between the Buccaneers and Bengals here inside of Raymond James Stadium. One of the big storylines of this Tampa Bay team dating back to last season, quite frankly, is the play of the offensive line. Wasn't really up to snuff last year. Then you get the number one overall draft pick and you take a quarterback. Well, you don't want to get the guy killed, right? So you spend your next two picks on offensive linemen to try to protect him. How those guys fit into the offensive line remains to be seen. But after their performance last week, Everything is sort of looking up, and that offensive line is finally starting to take shape. Coach Smith, you know, he, he made a statement, and, um, you know, once Coach Smith makes a statement, you know, he, we, we got our number was called. After a tepid performance against Minnesota, Buccaneers head coach Lovey Smith made a statement to his offensive line. Get physical or get off the field. So, uh, you know, pretty much had to step it up, and we went out there and, you know, started from play one. We started off strong, and that's where it's just that you need that mentality to come off, uh, fire off the ball right away. And that strong start sort of gave us that momentum that sort of carried over. Led by rookies Donovan Smith and Ali Marpet, the Buccaneers' offensive line was much improved Monday night. Doug Martin ran wild, and Jameis Winston looked like a different quarterback than he was in Minneapolis. He's going to go to the power out. He's got a touchdown, Tampa Bay. You know, from Penn State, we don't have a lot of fireworks in Canada, so uh, it's pretty cool to hear all of that. To be able to open it up with a win is, is, is just, you know, great, and to be able to build on that is, is the plan. Marpet and Smith will likely be starters when the regular season begins. Fortunately for the Bucks, there's still time for them to get adjusted to life in the NFL. Every week, every day, you keep, like, you know, closing the gap, and finally you just wake up one day and say, wow, I get it. You know, that like, we can tell them everything, but at the end of the day, your mind's moving fast in your feet, your feet move fast in your mind. You know, he just has to, he just has to bring it, bring it down to his level. They're all good players. They just have to get caught up to speed, which they are. Uh, none of us are ready for game one yet, so we're all working towards that, and they're working towards it too. The O-line's improvement is even more impressive considering the absence of injured DeMar Dotson. His replacement, Gosder Sherrillis, is still getting up to speed. There's nothing you can do that's going to get you ready for like opening day. You have to go through this in order for you to go through it, battle, you know, get in shape. You can bring Usain Bolt out here. He'll still be, you know, somewhat like limited. So it's a different type of shape. So you have to go through it. Will there be mistakes? Of course. Under pressure, look out, Mike. He hits front and back to the 33 yard line. Will there be a few head scratching moments? Probably. <laughs> but will the Bucks be better up front than they were in 2014? There's every reason to believe the answer is yes. Last year, the offensive line knew they underperformed, and I think this year it's about uh, improving from last year and uh, getting a whole lot better. And Yeah, because there are those young guys, we are going to get better. It seems like we're actually building a trust between the guys on the field right now, and that's a good thing.